Uh, good afternoon, residents of Ward 56. This is Councillor Michael Crichton here giving an update on the forest or water issues. And I just have to say that this is probably going to be a longer voice note than usual, but I feel that I need to give an explanation as to what is going on. So currently the Joburg water is trying to connect the generator, but I believe their technicians are having trouble on site and so they have now called the service provider to come in and assist them which leads to my next point i had a, a meeting with janisburg water and a lot of the top officials on friday afternoon and i explained that there are some regular and persistent outages emanating from the forest your water tower and that we need to have a more dependable supply as we need and as we deserve and as we demand. Uh, so they have promised me that uh, they have assigned someone to do the designs on the new water tower. Um, I believe that they want to both refurbish and build a brand new water tower on the site where the Forest Hill Tower is, which should help us because they admitted that uh, there, as many have been suggesting for a while, that... Uh, uh, the, the the tower doesn't have much capacity when the power goes off. So, um, you know, it's, the power goes off and then the, the, the water runs out fairly quickly. So they're looking to increase that capacity by building a new tower and refurbishing the current one. Then I also mentioned that we are in dire need of uh, a permanent generator as well. Uh, because as many are saying, you know, why in this day and age when there are alternative sources of power, such as generators, uh, must the, the water, to something as critical as the water tower stop operating um, when, uh, when the power goes out. So that is also in the pipeline. Um, and yes, like everyone else, I was uh, devastated that our water tower did not get uh, the budget it required in the uh, recent RDP. But at least we're going to get the designs made. Um, and from there, that will sort of empower me to a greater degree to, to, to put pressure on the relevant MMCs to say, look, these are the designs made by Joburg Water uh, in terms of what they require to give the residents supplied by the Forest Hill Water Tower a more dependable and sustainable supply of water. So that's what I'm doing on my side. For now, I am following up with Joburg Water regularly to see where the service providers are in terms of installing the current temporary generator that's on site. And that's what I have for now. Thank you very much, Councillor Michael Crichton, Ward 50.